We're down to the final 24 hours to get our turkeys prepped and ready for the big day. And this morning, Chef George Duran is giving us his tips for how to cook the best turkey. George, thank you for joining us this morning. We are down to the wire, my friend. But do we have still have time to brine the turkey? Oh, absolutely. You got to do it like right this second. Like this, just drop everything and do it now because you want to brine it for about an hour per pound of turkey. And the way to do it is very simple. Just kind of mix your uh, salts, which right. is about two cups of salt per two gallons of water, half of a cup of sugar in there. This is like the go-to base. Go ahead, just pour it in there and let's pretend that's this about This is two. your go-to recipe right It's just here, right? a basic two cups of salt with two gallons of water. Let's pretend there's more water in there. You let this boil, you add some ice, and then you add your aromatics for it. And this is where you get to choose what you want. If it's onions, herbs, lemons, mm. whatever it is, put it in the bag, let it marinate until tonight. And tonight you remove it, you put it on a baking sheet into the fridge open air so you get a nice crispy skin when you cook it. That's really important. So tonight you remove it from the, the wet brining right over there. And you also have an important tip for planning ahead when it when it comes to the gravy. Yeah, if you're going to wet brine and you want to use the drippings for gravy, that's a salty bird right now. All those drippings are going to be super salty. Yeah. So wash the turkey before you put it in the fridge and then you cook it. So wash that so your gravy isn't too salty. Oh, I like that. That's a pretty good yeah, one right there. Yeah. What about stuffing? Yeah. How do you stuff the turkey? How do you do it properly? Yeah, a lot of people are worried that the turkey is done, but the stuffing has the juices that are not fully cooked. Well, one thing to do is to make sure that you have 165 degrees in the stuffing. If it's not up to temperature and the turkey's already cooked, pull it out and put it in the microwave until it's fully cooked. Simple as that. Another way, a lot of people hate to kind of dig out the stuffing from inside the uh -huh. cavity. Well, use a cheesecloth, put it inside the cavity, and then pop in your stuffing. And then when you're done cooking, just pull out that cheesecloth, and you're going to have the entire stuffing pulled out. Eddie's over here, our stage manager. He's going, yeah, that's how you do it. He buys his from a deli oh, sliced no, stuff no, already. No, Eddie, so, Eddie, come please. on, Eddie. Yeah, we're we got to move on to cooking. Yeah. Yeah. How do you get that perfectly crisp Skin. Yeah, there's turkey. numerous ways to get that, and that's uh, drying it in the fridge before you cook it. You can also rub some oil or butter on top of the skin. Mm. That's really going to make it nice and crispy, but also you can dry brine it as well with salt. And then one of the problems that people have is that the breast cooks before the thighs. So one thing to do is to kind of take an aluminum foil, kind of mold it before you put it in the oven, take it out. Once that breast is fully cooked, it's going to be perfectly shaped like a crown, and you place it on top, let the, the thighs cook. And when you take it out of the oven, everything is cooked to perfection and crispy and delicious. Dang. Are you coming over for Thanksgiving? Yes, right? yeah. Okay, after okay, this, okay. I am. After these hacks, I love Fantastic. it. Is there a safe way if you're in a time crunch? Not a safe way, but you're in a time crunch. Yeah. How could I still get this? Yeah, time? if it's like last minute, oh my gosh, gosh, I forgot to put the bird in the oven. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't happen. But if it does, hey, it's called spatchcocking. Have you heard of this? Yes. You do it with a chicken, but you can do it with a turkey too. Remove the backbones, flatten it out on a baking sheet, pop it in, and that's going to cut your cooking time in half, guaranteed. It just won't look the same to presentation, but you're cooking time that has. And the it's same. still delicious, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's, that's what George, thank you, my friend. You can visit goodmorningamerica.com for more last minute tips. I want to thank George for his he gave us this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.